Hi, this is Brian. Welcome back to another micro class. This one's on doubling down on your talents at every turn. Double down. Inspired by Are You Fully Charged by Tom Rath. Tom Rath is awesome. And in the last big idea, we talked about how to create meaning. One of the key components was to identify your strengths. Tom's grandfather was one of the world's leading psychologists in the 20th century who studied the psychology of strengths. He created the Strengths Finder Test uh, and his company acquired the company named Gallup. He renamed the company. They were called Gallup now. They've done a ton of research. So Tom grew up with a grandfather who advocated strengths and he's dedicated his life to helping us find our strengths. Now, what's fascinating here is that he says that if you want to do something great in your lifetime, you need to focus here. Too many people spend too much time trying to become well-rounded by trying to dial in their weaknesses. He says, and I quote, avoid that at all costs. Avoid that at all costs. Now, Robert Sternberg, another researcher, this guy out of Yale, I remember reading his book, Successful or Success Intelligence, Successful Intelligence, years ago, like 1998 or something like that. Amazing. He said, look, you need to make sure that your weaknesses don't kick your butt, right? So you got to make sure they don't rain on the whole party. But beyond that, you want to focus on your strengths. Tom tells us trying to work on your weaknesses is like working against gravity versus focusing on your strengths has a multiplier effect. So begs the question, what are your strengths? What are they? Can you list them? Can you tell me what your strengths are? And are you spending more of your time focusing on your strengths or trying to become well-rounded? You are well-rounded, congratulations. He says, look, of course you need to have basic skills, but as you approach your optimal career and true pursuit of greatness, it's not being well-rounded and like everybody else that makes the difference. It's what makes you you that makes the difference. And you can only be in that place if you have a very good relationship with your strengths. So double down on your strengths. Double down on your talents at every turn. I hope you enjoyed and I look forward to sharing more soon. Have another awesome day. See ya. Isn't it a bit odd that we went from math to science to history, but somehow missed the class on how to live? For some wacky reason, Optimal Living 101 never made the schedule. Of course, it's too late to go back and change that, and you're too busy to read full time to catch up. Yet, if you're like us, you're all about optimizing your life and actualizing your potential. So imagine this. Imagine having someone read the best books on optimal living and pulling out the big ideas that can truly change your life. You know, those sections you asterisk and underline and mark all up. Then imagine that guy, me, connecting those ideas to other great books and helping you apply them to your life today. Well, that's what I do with something we call Philosopher's Notes, where I break down each great book into a simple six-page PDF, 20-minute MP3, and 10-minute Philosopher's Notes TV episode. Then imagine me taking the absolute best big ideas from those great books and sharing them with you in fun, inspiring, super practical, optimal living 101 classes. On stuff like Purpose 101, Confidence 101, Business 101, Meditation 101, that sort of thing. You've got a personal trainer? I'm kind of like your personal philosopher. Ancient wisdom plus modern science plus common sense plus virtue plus mastery plus fun. That's what our optimized membership program is all about. We'd love to have you join us. Check us out at brianjohnson.me slash join.